Yeah, baby, you see that right. GeForce RTX 5060 Ti, booyah, eight gigabyte. What the crap, who would buy this card? Well, I would. Not because I think it's gonna be a good card. In fact, quite the opposite. But NVIDIA isn't sending out review samples. None of their partners are sending out samples. I've been looking one for, I've been looking for one for two weeks. And finally, this was in stock at Newegg. $450 later with tax, the lovely GeForce 5060 Ti 8GB. Uh, what is this? The, the Windstorm? No, what do they call these things? Windforce is in hand. Copper plate. I mean, it's, it's a cheap, not cheap, but it's a basic budget card. I obviously was trying for the least expensive model. These are supposed to be $379 MSRP starting point. Cheapest one I found was $429. And then tax and shipping. Actually, maybe it's $419. I can't remember. The total with tax and shipping ended up being uh, $452 or something like that. I'm doing this haphazardly just because I don't want to take a ton of time and I just want to get this up to hear what you guys want to see but I will be testing it. That is a small card honestly. It's dual fan, uh, in no integrated rims, budget, budget, budget. Of course it does have a single eight pin power connector. Oh, that's weird. PNY did this as well. I guess it's because the, the PCB is actually quite small. Like you can see that PCB only goes that far. I still would have liked the power connector all the way back because having it clear up here, that just makes for a messier install when it's in your case. The back is a flow through fan, nothing to obstruct it and yeah still oh heh, I forgot about that I didn't even look for that wow well maybe I'll return this when I'm done uh, so it's an it's an eight lane connector so physically it's an eight lane as well as electrically it's eight lane and normally these 5060 ti's are eight lane electrical, but they have the full size slot. Without the full connector, it means like there's less stabilization. I haven't seen a motherboard with a with an eight lane connector. I'm sure they exist, but whatever. It's for science. For science, weird science. Anyone else like Oingo Boingo? I do. I used to like them a lot. That was my growing up phase. Uh, triple display port 2.1B still and the HDMI 2.1B. Dual fans, like I said. We'll see how it performs. Just got to throw it over into that test bed. Get that weak sauce 5080 card out of the way. And we'll put in the lovely... 5060 Ti. How's that for size comparison? <laughs> That's hilarious. It's so much smaller. It's going to be less than half as fast too, but that's beside the point. Anyway, I think at 1080p it will do fine. 1440p Ultra, you're going to start running out of VRAM. And of course, 4K Ultra is going to be a travesty with or without upscaling and frame generation. 8 gigabyte just isn't enough for a modern graphics card, especially one that ends up costing $450. Let me know what you think. Gigabyte, your card has the dubious distinction of being the first 5060 Ti 8 gigabyte card that I could find in stock, so I bought it. And yeah, 
I'm going to be unimpressed, I'm sure. But I'll have the numbers and I'll have a review up in the coming days. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.